Welcome to the Cinti tutorial, adding inverse kinematics and controllers for your animation. I'm assuming at this point you've already watched a importing your character in and that you've already got most of your bones, the model set up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add some IK controllers now. So the first thing I do is I, just to make things a little easier to view, I like to go into the viewport shading mode. We're going to go to edit mode. And we're going to move over toward the elbow joint. And we're going to extrude some bones here. So you hit E to extrude. And we want to do it along the Y. And we want to clear this parent. You can right click or you can Alt P. And I like to move this one. This is our pole target back just a little bit. And we're going to do the same with this one. E to extrude along the Y. We're going to clear the parent. And now our parent is cleared. Um, it's important that we go to the Bone Properties tab and we uncheck Deform on both of these. We're also going to move down. We're going to add a couple bones at the knee area. We will extrude along the Y, clear the parent, and we're going to move them. This is our pull target, so I like to move this one out a bit. Then our controller, E to extrude along the Y, and we'll clear the parent. Again, we'll uncheck Deform. While we're still in Edit, let's go ahead and we'll turn on x-axis mirror. We're just going to move these joints just a little bit along the Y. We're going to move the knees forward so they'll point toward our pole. We'll come up to the top up here. We're going to do the same with the joint here. We're just going to move it back a little bit. G along the Y. And then we're going to go into pose mode. We'll highlight our wrist. We're going to go to the Constraints tab over on the right. And we're going to add the inverse kinematics. And we can adjust the chain length now. We know it's going to be two. If you don't, your character just does some crazy flips. So we'll just move it up to two. And we want our target to be root. Our bone, this is the controller bone. The one that we're going to use to hold, move everything. It's going to be the lower arm 001. And then we're going to make our target, our pull target is root. And the actual upper arm 001. All the way at the bottom. He rotates a little, that's fine. We just click and drag to figure out which direction we need to go. This one's minus 90. And now we're going to move down. We're going to do the exact same thing down on the shin. We're going to add a constraint. Inverse kinematics. Rinse and repeat. Our target is root. Only this time it's calf lower. 0, 0, 001. Then we'll do our pull target root, and the upper thigh, 0, 0, 001. We have to adjust our chain length, 1, 2, and then our pole angle, like this one, is going to be 90 degrees. With that, we're just about finished, but I like to add a couple other things. In, I'll show you in pose mode, we can move our character, but you notice the knee always points directly to this pointer here, which if you want to extend the leg straight out, he kind of does this weird turn. What we can do is if we go into edit mode, we'll highlight our pull bone and then our controller bone, and we're going to parent them. We're going to keep offset. You can tell it successfully parented as long as it's connected at the back the front here. 
We're going to do the same up top, our pole bone to our controller, parent. We're going to make that keep offset. Now if we go into pose mode and we move our controller bones here, they follow it, which makes things a little bit nicer sometimes. So now I don't get that weird little flip turn. I just move it along the Y for it to kick up, or along the Z if I want to do crazy things. The last thing we're going to do while in pose mode, we'll just highlight every new bone that we added and added constraints to. So it should be six in total. So we've got three at the bottom and three in the top. We'll go to edit mode. We're going to hit F3 and type SYMM. So we want the armature symmetrize. What that did was just duplicated everything from the left to the right. Now if you go into pose mode, you can move and control your animation any way you like.